going to show you how I like to sample some real world instruments and bring them into a virtual environment. I've got this souvenir kalimba made out of a coconut and I thought it'd be fun to play with. So I'm using a program called Sample Robot and it's made to help automate the sampling process for a lot of different things. So let's start the project here. We're going to do semi-automatic here because we're doing a real instrument, not a MIDI instrument. Give it a name, give it a path. And then choose my audio input. Next will be format. I'm doing CD quality. Kalimba only has a couple of keys on it, so I'm going to use the smallest range preset here. And then I want to sample two velocity layers. So one kind of soft and one louder. And then since this kalimba isn't a chromatic instrument, I'm going to sample it in whole steps rather than half steps. For note length, I want to do at least five seconds so I can get the tail end of the sound. And this is more of a percussive instrument, so I'm not going to loop the sample at all. So this window comes up and it will walk you through the recording. So here it's asking for the first note and if you hit the oscillator button it'll play that note for you so you know you're hitting the right one. Gives you a countdown and then... Then I'll check it. Sounds good, move on to the next one. Now for the next note, I needed to retune it a bit. So I pull out the screwdriver and uh, do it manually. Oh, this can be kind of a tedious process with this little toy, really. And then I want to hold it until the tail is completely died off. Sounds good. So I just repeat that process over and over all the way up the range. I had to retune it a couple different times to get the different notes, but in the end, I got a bunch of samples. Then here, I'm just listening to them and trimming the, the beginning and the end so I'm not getting any extraneous noise. Once the sample is faded to silence, I pull the out point in. And I'll do that for every sample. When I'm done with that, it's time to export it and check it in my DAW. So I'm going to export this as a sound font, which is a pretty common format. I'm going to check my settings here. And I'll open up FL Studio, add a sampler track. I'll go find the sound font we just made. Loads right up, give it a whirl. Sounds pretty good, but I want to extend the range. So I'm pulling these samples down so I can play a little lower on the keyboard. Same thing, I can do it at the top. Now this is interpolating from the last samples we made, so it's not perfect, but sounds pretty good. If you want these samples, head over to DIYFilmComposer.com.